Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, let's roll. All right, welcome to another episode of the Greatness Podcast, brought to you by Sky Insurance Brokers. I'm Eric Scholey, and with me is Megan May. Yes, all right, right. <laughs> the co-host and actually the new leader of the That's show. Right. So, I... welcome, your leader. Oh gosh! Yeah. But with us, we got the the man of the hour and the guest that I've actually been trying to get on for about seven or eight months now. So, it's been a while. finally excited to get him on here is Mr. Jason Huntoon. So, thank you for joining us. Thanks Woo-hoo. for having me. Oh, we got yeah. Applause. Yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah. Right? Applause I know. Yeah, right? Right? Exactly. Just right. Boom. Right. Right thing. So welcome uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for so having me. I always like on. to start off with just a little uh, intro background. So I just yeah. uh, kind of a shoot from the hip, share anything you would like to about yourself, just personally, things you like to do, favorite books you read, I mean, whatever. Yeah, so um, I'm really big into rock crawling and jet skis. I'm always on the lake. I Mr. Like Outdoor, to, yeah. like to fish. Um, yeah. Jason, we need to get to be better friends We're, so you can take me out on the lake. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> my wife, I've actually, that's something I'm doing this evening is Fun. I get to work on my wife's jet ski and I have to get it going for her. Fun. My jet ski is very dependable and works every year and my wife's doesn't. So unfortunately. Yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> other than that, where do I come from? Um, I come from a family business. Um, I've always been in business as far as uh, a self-employed business. So I come from a place of service, which is, I think, awesome, especially the industry that I'm in. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, we sell products, but we really sell a service. We sell ourselves. We are there for our clients, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so that's something that yeah. is kind of where I come from as far as a background. And fortunately, I've had a family that has been supportive in the way of growing personally and kind of going outside of my comfort zone, like we were talking about a minute ago. Yeah. So, um as, as I said, you know, if you don't go outside your comfort zone, you're not going to grow. Um, so I'm grateful for where I come from. My father is still doing his thing, uh, self-employed, you yep. know, carpet cleaning, all that. Nice. Um, Stain busters. Yep. <laughs> Shout check. out. Yeah. <laughs> so you get a call. <laughs> um, so at, you know, a very young age, uh, 12 years old, I was in front of multi-million dollar CEOs wow. and telling them what I'm doing as I'm drilling holes in their walls, you know, and they're, they're going, who's this kid and what's he doing? You know, (laughs) I'm talking to people that are extremely high up and my dad walks in and he's like, Hey, you know, what do you, you got a question? You know, and the guy's like, yeah, I got got it. He's good. You know, (laughs) he's fine. Yeah, exactly. He's totally good. So, um, come from that. My mom has, you know, been in the school industry, like I said, very hardworking family. So I've always worked summers. I worked, um, I still got to hang out with my friends and do my things, but something that I learned at a very early age is responsibility and taking care of myself financially, that kind of stuff. So I've never been financially dependent necessarily on my parents. Um, I have a good work ethic. That's something that I think is very minimal still as Mm -hmm. the, you know, the older I get, the less I see, unfortunately. Um, But I think that that's what helps me grow in where I'm at is I do have that work ethic and I know that I'm going to be there for my family now and I'm not going to give up. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I come from. You grew up in Northern California, right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, So um, long time resident here. Yeah. Born in cool, went to Del Oro. Not cool hospital. Not cool. (laughs) hospital. It's a very cool hospital. hospital Yeah. 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 Nothing. Maybe a gas station. There's a gas station. (laughs) There's a pizza parlor up there. That's awesome. Um, pizza cool deli used to be there. Uh, the general store, you know, all the fun stuff. Party like, spots. Cool town yeah. Name. <laughs> right. You right. Can sit right. There and just run with it on Exactly. <laughs> well, had they built the Auburn Dam, we would have been waterfront property. So, um, unfortunately. That would have been nice. I don't know. Fortunately well. or unfortunately, depending on who you are. Um, I was just hiking in what would have been underwater then this week. Right. Yeah. 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 The confluence. confluence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So, I love living in the foothills. I still am in Applegate. Nice. Uh, I'm still very local. Love Tahoe. That's kind of where we spend a lot yeah. of our time. Um, when I say I'm into four wheeling, that's rock crawling. So we're always on the Rubicon trail or four dice. Um, so super fun. My wife's super outdoors and we love animals. We like to be outside. We are kind of more your, you know, we like to grow our own vegetables and stuff like that. So, um, Hey, that's helpful in today's in, you know, all the crazy market grocery store prices. Right. Exactly. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) or if the end of the world comes, it's also probably helpful too. I mean, 
there's that. Yeah. <laughs> If that happens, right? Yeah. I, you never know. This is a off topic here. Yeah, bit. absolutely. Uh, is this a conspiracy theory? No. Oh, no. Okay. Um, Surprise. <laughs> no, but to speak outdoors, though, I mean, I got a story here that I always I always tell people because it speaks volume when you think of Jason. But, uh, you know, I got a Jeep a couple of years ago, and yeah. I wanted to put a, a rack on it. That's right. So I was, I was you know, researching online, then I started calling around. I'm like, man, it's it's crazy how much companies cost to put the rack on, even if you, you know, purchase it on your yeah. own. So you're thinking, this must be pretty time consuming, but it doesn't seem like it would be that hard. So, you know, I put on Facebook, hey, does any of my friends know how to do this? Guess who the one person is to answer the call? <laughs> you know, Jason's like, hey, I'll, I'll come help you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Sweet. And sh- sure as can be. He showed up on a Saturday and it was a full day. I mean, we're, we're tearing off bumpers. Well, and I mean, it was, well, it was about eight, eight hours. It was like eight hours. Yeah, it was so, a Yeah, I got a rack on. And I mean, that says a lot, right? It to get is. off a Saturday. And yeah. uh, so I was very thankful for it. So thank you, you again. Were, yes. But, uh, Love the rack, and it's it's still nice. on there, so we yeah. put it on right. So and we only cross threaded one bolt, so yeah. you know yeah. that's pretty good. Not terrible. No, sure did. <laughs> that's sure a good did. friend. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's so a little background personally with Jason as well to continue that is, uh, you know, I've known him for a number of years since really what 2008. Yeah. And having this uh, having this show, I would say, is uh, for me a, a transitional stage in my career because yeah. you know growing up, I was always the young one in the industry, right? And uh, people <laughs> always go, "I remember you when you were this little or oh, at yeah. this age in business or whatever." And now I'm I'm the guy on the other side saying the same thing about Jason. So <laughs> I'm realizing that going out, man. That's a good time, thing. time is flying. It's but, not a uh, thing. You're still young. But yeah, I remember even at what 18, 19 years old, I was in a uh, networking group with his father back in like mm-hmm. 2008, and me and I. Here's this That's young right. pup. Uh-huh. Just, you know, bright eyes come into the thing. And, <laughs> yeah. and Jason would get up in front of all these, you know, 50 business professionals, all these grown individuals, and uh, handled himself really well at a young age. Nice. So that was also something right off the bat. You're like, okay, this this guy's this guy's cut a little, made a little bit different, you know. Right. That's and awesome. uh, carries himself very well and well beyond his years. So I knew that would transition well into whatever he did in his life. And obviously it's uh, – Proving to be right. Yeah. Well, so. thank you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that I did yeah. well. <laughs> no, you didn't do well. I mean, a lot of people, I, I mean, adults, obviously, just get them speaking in front of anyone. Oh, I yeah. Mean, people were panicking every week. And, you oh, know, to have sure. an 18 or 19-year-old come in, it was just like, whoa, that's pretty impressive. It is, took notice. Is that yeah. still, like, America's number one fear is public speaking? Yeah. I mean, second, yeah, death, yeah, is, I think yeah. death is number two or yeah. three. Public speaking yeah. is number one. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. I would say driving now is probably <laughs> right. Yeah, if you're in it's California, it might be fires. Who knows? Know. Yeah. Yeah. Ocean for me, emotions up there. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're big into outdoors too. I mean, you, yeah, you're always I, I hiking. Love, yeah, I, well, that's what this area is so incredible for. Yeah. It's just, it, it, there's so many different things to do, you know, out, outside, and uh, it's such a beautiful area. My, mine is hiking. I love yeah. hiking, and I got a a dog who just turned one. Mm. Uh, so, you know, she's out there. She loves the trails too. So it's, uh, it's easier for me now is just, you know, grab my dog and go hit the trail. So yeah, most, awesome. most time on, on weekends when I'm, I'm free, that's where you'll find me is, is on some trail or on some mountain. So it's a good thing. Great. Yeah. yeah. She's Fresh good at extra motivation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, but a lot, a lot of good stuff. Well, well, that's uh that's good info. I know you're recently married. Uh, recently. <sighs> I get, or it's been a while. On, yeah, it's, it's been a little while now. Okay, We're going you're, you're, uh, four years this year. Okay, yeah, yeah it's nice. not recently. That is past yeah, the recent. It's been a little while. So, yeah. Listen, yeah. my so, husband and I just celebrated five years. It's awesome. still recent. It yeah. doesn't feel like we've been married honey, five honey years. Honeymoon phase is over. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was over from, the, from the beginning. <laughs> right, right. I don't know. Honeymoon phase. Uh, I'd say we're still in the honeymoon Good. phase. We, we really love hanging out Keep with each other. Keep it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, my wife, is. she wants to be on the water just as much as I do, so... Uh, if I tell her I'm going to do something fun or, you know, like a bass tournament or something, she's yeah. like, well, where's my invite? Oh, you know, well, uh-huh. how come I didn't get invited? You that know? sounds like, vaguely familiar. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, my poor, yeah, my poor husband, every time he's like, I'm going to go fishing, I'm like, I want to go, take me with you. Hey, that's awesome. You know, I, 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 I yeah. love that yeah. my, my wife wants to hang out with me. That means yeah. that we did something right in the way yeah. that, you know. And you guys have things, a lot of things in common, exactly. obviously. Exactly. Enjoy your time with each other. Exactly. Yep. So, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And I know you're a big family guy, too. So, um, yeah. you know, I, I always see you out hiking and with your daughters and that kind of stuff. So. Very important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good. Well, I know uh, you touched on a little bit in your intro, so thank you for sharing all that. Is, yeah. uh, you know, your, your, your past business background. So, uh, you know, I know you spent a lot of time uh, with your dad in the, in the I mentioned, Stain Buster uh, right. business. Um, developing that, and you said you you know learned a lot of business practices and, and really how to be a professional there. Yeah, very much. Um, so. so what 
give a little bit of background on how you transition into you know the, the mortgage industry and kind of where you're, where you're at there. So just share with us how that happened and what your mindset was when you were making that transition and, and found this uh, industry so tempting to yourself. Absolutely. So um, I've always loved real estate. So my, my parents have had rental houses my whole life. Um, so I've always either taken care of the rentals if they're on property. Uh, we do have one that is on two acres. So every summer I'd go weedy, mm-hmm. you know, I of course did not love that, but <laughs> that's all right. You know, the tenants seem to just move out at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, it's spring. It looks great. And okay. then two weeks later, it's three feet tall weeds, you know? Yeah. Um, so that was something that I, I always was taking care of a house or helping to flip a house, remodeling, getting something ready for a rental for somebody to rent out. Um, so that was kind of where my passion for real estate came from, uh, was just that was, I got to see how you could transition homes and really could change things inside of a house to make it fit to you and what your likeness is of, Hey, what, what do I want? What do I not want? Uh, why do I want it? Why do I not want it? Right. Um, so that was kind of the start to my real estate of like, okay, here we are. So <laughs> fast forward three years after we met you, four years after I met you, 23 years old, I bought my first house. Mm -hmm. Um, 2013, you know, market had crashed a little, Mm -hmm. so we were still kind of in the lull, a little on the way up. And um, Smart move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, and I got to give credit to my father. Um, You know, the young and dumb, we like to buy things that don't appreciate and rather Uh depreciate. So I told my dad, I was, you know, I had some money saved up. and I was like, I'm going to go buy a street bike, dad. This is going (laughs) to happen. And he's like... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, let's have a conversation about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you're not. So, <laughs> right. Um, and thankfully, I did listen to my dad because, good. you know, I was in high school and I remember this vividly because I remember the market in high school, two thousand six, seven, mm-hmm. as I was getting ready to graduate. I'm sitting here going, okay, how am I going to get into this housing market if I want to buy a house? Because mm-hmm. of course, I'd already looked at rentals, what my parents had bought. Um, and I'm looking at houses that are going, you know, six, 700,000. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford a house at $700,000. Right. Um, so that was something that kind of brought my attention to how do I make this work and how do I actually finagle things to find the right fit in the right way for myself? Um, so luckily we did have a market correction, Mm -hmm. um, where I was able to get into the market Mm -hmm. and I bought my first house at 23. Um, I took my dad's advice again, and I did not buy a motorcycle. Smart. <laughs> I took that down payment that I was going to buy a motorcycle with and put it uh-huh. in on a house. Nice. Um, I bought my first house for $8,000. Oh. Oh. So, you know, um, it wasn't a first-time homebuyer program, but it was an FHA. It was an option of 3.5%. I, I was grateful for the advice that I got. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, not at the time, obviously, right? right? Cause I wanted <laughs> in my mind, I wanted something that went fast on two wheels yeah. and I could do wheelies wherever I wanted to go. <laughs> um, and, uh, I did, I did buy my house and nice. fortunately enough, I was able to save enough, save enough money up to where I got my house. And then Four months later, I was still able to buy my motorcycle. There you go. Yeah. So I, that works out, huh? I did it get yeah. the best of both <laughs> worlds. Um, and again, I took my dad's advice and I moved a buddy of mine in, uh, rented out a room, mm-hmm. and then he left. I rented out two rooms. The house was a three bedroom, three bath house, two and a half bath. Uh, so I rented out the rooms for 500 bucks a month. Yeah. And my mortgage was $1,500 a month. Right. Yeah. It was actually less than that. <laughs> but I figured if I'm living with these guys, I should probably pay as yeah. much as they're paying. Yeah. So I paid the extra money towards my principal nice. as yeah. my dad Smart. said, hey, why don't you do this? Yeah. So that's what I did. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of my transition into what I loved about real estate. Now, going from the business side of with my father mm-hmm. into actually the mortgage industry, yeah. Um being that I loved real estate, well, once I realized that I kind of wanted to do something different than the carpet cleaning world um, and the rug cleaning world was, mm-hmm. I love real estate. Why don't I be a realtor? Well, I got my real estate license. I got in with somebody to start doing real estate. Mm-hmm. And in three months, I found out that I didn't want to be a buyer's agent. Mm-hmm. And that's really how you get going in the I industry. I never knew you were in the real estate side yeah. of it. Okay, that's yeah. good. So, as you know, that's kind of how you start in the industry, right? As, as a buyer's right. agent, you build sure. your clientele base, and then you get listing referrals and that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. As you get more experience. Um, my biggest moment in life that I applaud myself for is I did get my license. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
realizing that I didn't want to work every night and weekend running around town. And I applaud realtors that they can yeah. do that. And it's ha- a different and schedule for it sure. Is. The Absolutely. weekends are shot. Yep. The yeah. Evenings. Right. And it just changes up exactly. how you live your life. Yeah. Right. Which is mornings I, I, and lunches are usually your time. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't live for the weekends. It's not necessarily who I am, but sure. my wife's schedule is different. But even then we weren't, you know, I mean, we kinda had a free schedule. We don't have kids, yeah. you know, we have animals, but it's we're still pretty open. And I realized like, hey, if we wanna go travel well, I'm stuck to a, you know, I have realtors here or right. clients yeah, here. An open and, house on Sunday morning. Right. You know, I'm not, I'm not able to be around for either open houses or clients mm-hmm. to show them properties, that kind of stuff. So yeah. I thought it almost did a disservice to my clients and not wanting to be there. Right. So right. I already have a mindset of, hey, I don't want to be here and I don't want to do that to my clients. Yeah. So I actually uh, talked to another friend who I had met through BNI as well. And he told me, he's like, hey, why don't you look at the loan side? Have you ever thought about that? Light bulb. Boom. Okay. Why not? I can still be in the real estate industry. Yeah. I can still help clients. I'm stoked to help my clients. Mm -hmm. I'm able to answer the phone when I need to. Yeah. If I can't answer the phone, I text my client. Hey, I'm on the, you know, I'm doing something. I'm on the phone. I'm in a meeting. Can I call you back? Can we talk tomorrow? Whatever it may be. If it's urgent, obviously I'm going to take care of it and handle it right away. Right. But, um, so that's when I transitioned into the mortgage industry and started on the brokerage side. Um, I was making 200 calls, 150 calls a day. Um, so I really yeah. started I started at ground level and really started the grind. We should start having you do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, uh, no. Um, nope. So about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so I started doing that. And then um, I found a better fit for me and my clients to be able to service them. Obviously, I'm at Premier Mortgage Resources now. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. What a dynamite team that I have. Uh, our Roseau branch, team. Yes. beyond incredible. So, um, I mean, my my support staff and my boss, every everybody, even our CEO, our whole team is yeah. phenomenal. And we work fast. We're always there for our clients. And, uh, you know, it's something that I love about my company. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to start my own brokerage. Yeah. I don't know that I want to do that anymore. You yeah. know, um, there's a lot that goes into it, which isn't. You know, I, I know I can do it, sure. but I I already have the team and the support staff. So why reinvent the wheel when it's already moving? Yeah. Right. So that's kind of where where I'm at and how I got to where I'm at. No, right? that's, that's awesome. good. And like I said, you couldn't have landed with a with a better team. I right. Mean, from from the the processors and staff to your your fellow uh, lenders. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys really have a good thing going, and and uh, you know I know I've shared. I'm really big into culture. We practice yeah. that. We work on that a lot. Oh, that's yeah. really kind of my main focus here at Sky is just building a really cool culture for everyone to work in. Yep. I feel like you guys have that too. You know, when I come we visit do. your office, mm-hmm. uh, it's one of those. It's one of those few offices where I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready to leave yet. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're all saying <laughs> bye to me, but I don't. Longer. I might just sit yeah. on this couch awkwardly and just sit here and see what happens because I don't want to leave. <laughs> You're like, hang on, there's Noah's yeah. bagels over here. Yeah. I don't really want to leave quite yet. Yeah, exactly. Some breakfast so, no, or so that's just yeah. uh, you know that's makes awesome. makes your job you know daily and the and the grind uh, that much easier knowing you have these incredible teammates to to guide you through and to, to go through the battle with you, which is yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. And yeah. it's, it's interesting when you were talking about your story and thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you were in high school and you were seeing these prices and wondering <laughs> how can I afford that? It, it's funny because those same kids graduating high school and college right now. Right. And young families. Yep. Uh, are, are feeling the same thing with where the market is here. Yeah. And, um, and I know a few friends personally, mm-hmm. uh, but I've also read a couple of articles that it's in our area, especially people are doing exactly what you said you just ended up doing is where they're, they're buying a house or even the parents are helping the child buy the house yeah. and then they're renting out all the rooms to yeah. help facilitate the sure. cost. And I know, I know that's old hat in the Bay area. I mean, this has been a common practice sure. since the seventies and eighties down in the Bay area, really. Right. Uh, but, uh, but it's, it's a new, new thing up here where, you know, people are buying homes knowing that they're going to be you know, sub out all the rooms just right. to make the mortgage because of pricing. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you got to make ends meet, right? Yeah. Um, so then that is kind of the nice part about as, as many products as we have where I'm at. Yeah. Um, and, and I just had a conversation with a 22 year old over the weekend at a wedding and he's wanting to start his own business. And I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, good for you. Like 
go get it. If you want to start your own business, start your own business. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what you need. Because I asked him, I said, hey, are you looking, are you wanting to buy a house? Are you wanting to move? He's living at home, 22 years old, yeah. right? Um, and he hates it. He's like, I, I got to get out of my parents' house, but mm-hmm. what do I do? How yeah. do I get out of it? You know, so um, we had a conversation for about 15, 20 minutes about how you're going to buy a duplex, triplex, or quadplex. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Now you qualify for your income. Are you qualify for the loan with the income coming from the other rentals mm-hmm. right and he's can live in this place he can live in a quadplex or duplex yeah. or triplex so Not a bad way to go why wouldn't you so it's it's kind of fun and i i love to work in the way that we find the solutions right and that's where my team is yeah. so i'm so grateful to have that team because right. They are the team that we are in business to close loans. Obviously, that's we're not in business to dilly dally and, and mm-hmm. total our thumbs. Dilly dally, like so that. Yeah. solid word, <laughs> right? I've used it on occasion. <laughs> rad's, rad's another good yeah. one. Um, are cool. So, <laughs> but I'm pumped. Yeah, yeah folks, right? <laughs> back in. He was waiting for cool that. Cool dally, <laughs> sounds delicious. Um, so, anyways, I mean, it's just kind of cool to be able to help these people that are young. That yeah. I was in the same boat at 23 years old, going, "How am I going to yeah. make this work?" You know, um, luckily for me, we did have a market correction and, you know, that was something that I took advantage of. Sure. But right. there are programs out there. There's ways to make it work. There's things that you can do. It's just a matter of thinking outside that box, which is, I think, what made me great at what I did before mm-hmm. and being able to run my dad's company with him yeah. and build his his company to a 14,000 repeat clientele base. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that we thought outside the box. We did sure. more than the average. We made sure that we took care of our clients. We listened to our clients. Right. A lot of people, and unfortunately in our industry, you know, they see five to 10 products and they go, okay, mm-hmm. this is where I'm at. Mm-hmm. You're not stuck to that as far as a, a client goes or yeah. a buyer goes. So that's kind of the, the fun part about what I do. Well, that's good. I think it's a, uh, a perfect time. We're going to take a short break and when we come back, I really want to dive into kind of the current state and we'll talk and kind of go into the products and and things that are available uh, for for buyers and, and people that are looking to for home ownership or refinance. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll touch on that. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Thank you. All right. Welcome back to the uh, Greatness Podcast. We were here chatting with Mr. Jason Huntoon. Uh, so we've really covered you know your intro, your background, which is fantastic for sharing. Thank you. And yeah. uh, really what got you into the mortgage industry. So Mm -hmm. I really want to spend some time and drill down, uh, your current state, you know, the solid team you're on right now and where you are getting the most satisfaction or making the biggest impact in this industry. Yeah. And where you enjoy, you know, spending, spending your time. I know you were just mentioning before we took a break, you know, having that conversation with that young 22 year old Mm -hmm. on ways when a market's crazy, like it is right now, where homes seem almost unaffordable for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, how there's some creative ways doing that. So, or, you know, a 32 year old who hasn't bought her house and has a child and another one on the way. Absolutely. Or, or if, I mean, a 50 year old, I mean, I've seen it's, it's, it's a, the problem's not just geared. You're, you are correct. Not just geared for younger individuals. It's just people in general. I mean, there's, you know, families working multiple jobs and it's just, you know, priced out of the housing market. So, uh, so yeah, I just think, uh, I know you're a passionate person and, and love to help people. So this is yeah. an area that probably, you know, gives you goosebumps to, to chat about, but it's just, uh, <laughs> things you're doing and, and, and where you're currently at. So you want to expand on some of these things? Yeah. So I'll start it out with, I have no control over rates, right? So right. of course I can only you do what you I were, can you do. You the one that just had this nice acceleration. <laughs> you know, you had a heck surprised. of a first quarter, Mr. Huntoon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was you. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Most people think I have, I have control over that. I don't. Um, <laughs> But the the fun part about this is that I do get to find those ways. And I do come from a place of service, like you're yeah. saying. And I, I like to help people. That's kind of my burden to bear, if you will. And I do I do carry that cross. Um, and I enjoy that. Uh, because I know that when I was at that level, I wanted to get into a house. And I know for most people, the biggest financial decision in their life is buying a home. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, being able to get somebody into a better financial position and and putting them into a place of, hey, it might be tighter right now, but give yourself five years. Mm-hmm. You're going to turn around and go, hey, I'm making more money now, hopefully, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's what we want to mm-hmm. see. Right. Um, and now my home is worth a third more, you know, a quarter mm-hmm. more. It depends. You know, you might have 100 1000 in equity. You might, you know, even 20000 mm-hmm. in equity. It's 20000 you didn't have. Yeah. Right. Um, and every time you make a payment in your mortgage, your monthly mortgage, that's you're, you're buying equity. Mm-hmm. I mean, you really are. So um, not a lot of people see that. I was fortunate enough to be able to buy in a market that was a correction. Mm-hmm. And in four years, I was able to turn and sell my home 
make a profit off of that house. Mm -hmm. And that in turn actually gave me my down payment for my second home with me and my wife. Yep. That's awesome. Um, and it allowed me to qualify for a much higher loan amount than I ever thought I would be able to. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's kind of where having the market that we have right now, you are having to find these different ways and, sure. and things. Right. And so that's what I do have to contribute to my company to always being there saying, hey, what do we need? They, they talk to LOs. Every Tuesday we have our company meeting. Mm -hmm. It's literally, we, they make sure to ask sales, hey, what do you guys need? Yeah. What do we need? What are you seeing? What are your problems? What are your struggles? Where can we help you? Which for me, I love because I do want to help people. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, cool. This is what I need. This is how we can do it. I need more money. I need, you know, right. more flexibility on this program. Can we push FHA? Can we push DPA? Can we do, you know, DSCR? Can, there's... There's a lot of different products. So you can go non-QM, you can go QM, but having the avail availability, being that we are a direct lender, mm -hmm. we have our in-house products, but we also have that brokered channel where coming from the brokered world, mm -hmm. yeah, we are able to shop whoever and whatever, but at the same time, when I have in-house products that I know are beating those brokered world products. And you have more flexibility on some of it too. Right. Exactly. You get some exceptions that you otherwise wouldn't be able yep, to. Yep, exactly. So that, and that is kind of the thing that I love about this industry and what I do because, and my company, I'm yeah. able to have that flexibility, yeah. right? I'm able to find those, those market deals that, Hey, maybe they didn't know you could do this or maybe, maybe that, that yeah. listing agent had no clue. Right. right? Um, and, and helping the agents kind of finagle and find a way of, you know, they call me and go, hey, Jason, I, I, you know, I, I can I do a 21 day? I'm like, 21? That, that's all you want? <laughs> yeah. 21? That's it? Um, how about a 14 day? How about a 10 day? Yeah. What, you know, what do you need? Yeah. So something that I like to do for my clients is I, I go a little above and beyond. And, and there are lenders out there that do this, but I call my clients, listing agents. I call the, the listing that we've put an offer in on and I say, hey. Five minutes ago, you just got an offer in your email. Sometimes they don't even know it's come through yet, you know? <laughs> um, they're like, hey, excuse Surprise. me, who are you? Yeah. 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 Um, or I get the, you know, the listing agents that will call the lender just to check on the loan to make sure that they sure. are qualified buyers and, and that. Yeah. And um, so it is kind of nice that, you know, I reach out to them and I, I find out what we need. Yeah. And I kind of pressure, hey, what do you need? I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll make sure that I can get it to you. And if I can't, I'll tell you how close I can get to it. That's awesome. um, and so that's kind of why, like, my, you know, my company is, I think, above and beyond most companies out there. Obviously, there are a lot of lenders out there, but, um, and a lot of them can do a lot of different things. And that is something that um, I, I will give to every lender in this industry. Not every lender can do the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of stipulation around, you know, I, I'm sure as an LO, people are going to be like, well, why would you tell them to go somewhere else? Because get a second opinion. Sure. I don't care. Shop, like, I right. want you to have the best situation. I want to put you in the best financial position you can be in. Yeah. If that's not me, I'd rather see you succeed and, and have something better. And guess what? You're going to call me back later and go, hey, thanks for that referral. I understand that I went somewhere else, but I wanted to see if you could get this done for me this time because yeah. last time you actually referred me over here and we did get it done. Mm -hmm. And I just had a, a situation like that last month. And luckily for this guy... He's able to get into a house, and he takes care of his girlfriend. She's on disability. She's, mm -hmm. she's fully disabled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this man works way too much. He makes plenty of money for what he was trying to qualify for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had to tell the, the agent that, hey, I can't do this. Yeah. But do you have somebody else that can? Because if not, I will get you somebody else. Right. And I'll go above and beyond for my client and find another LO that I know can do it. Yeah. yeah. Because why? Uh, that's why I got into this industry. Sure. So – I want my clients to succeed. I want to see them do better. Yeah. Are I mean, you? I think okay. similar with us, you know, we do a lot of the same thing. You like guys said, do, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just had somebody the other – yesterday, I think, who was, Megan, it's high fire. What can I do? And I said, call this person. I, we can do this, or you can call this person and find out and yeah. call me back. Right. You know, we, we want our – we all want our clients to succeed. Yep. So. Right. And as we know, it's California important. Fair Plan's yeah. got the monopoly. <laughs> well, no, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Trying to navigate the homeowner's insurance. We have, we have the spreadsheets. We know yeah. what our competitors, where they'll take right. risks that we won't. Right. 
Um, so everyone kind of has a little sweet spot. So yeah, sure. there, there's what Megan was just alluding to. There's, yeah. there's definitely times where it's like, Hey, we can definitely help you with like a fair plan, but there's right. probably a better option here. And this is who we'd recommend you go to and see if they can place us first. Yeah. And if not, always come back to us. And that's just the way we've, we've done it in the same, same time. We have competitors that are referring us business all oh, the time. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. Which is I awesome. Mean, yeah. Well, yeah. and fair plan. And I did an auto today and she had great rates with who she was with already yeah. and i said hey stay there yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. we Can't want you here yeah. i've got your home and next year let's rerun it but for now stay right. where yep. you're at right. we want you to do what's best it's financially important. yeah absolutely so, yeah so are you seeing um and this just brings me back to 2007 2006 i know it was a, a completely different time then with loan programs that were borderline, I would say, criminal at the time. Obviously, looking back now, you didn't know yeah, at the time. The great With, short. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. You could, you know, if you if you can breathe, we'll get you a loan, or you know, we'll right. find, find a way yeah. to do it. We'll give you as many loans you want. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I know, I know, it's very much different now and regulated differently in, yeah. in the process. But at the same time, are you seeing more creative loan programs starting to come out to try to combat? Uh, not only the interest rates, but more importantly, the the cost of homes coming in and trying to find ways that maybe people can get in other than just a traditional type mortgage. Yeah, um, or, or is it still pretty limited? As far as the mortgages go, and that's what I was. I'll, I'll go back to my company. That's that's what we do, right? And that's why I love my company is yeah. we do kind of go back to the drawing board and say, hey, where can we kind of change things and fix things? So there are certain products that yes, we can make that work, and yes, we have higher rates, but. You know, like if, if a DPA seems like the best option or a non-QM seems like the best option, uh, you might be taking a higher interest rate, but you may be getting money back or you may not have to use uh, work history. You might It might just be, you know, a bank statement loan or something like that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, there's a lot more regulation around things, mm-hmm. but there are a lot more um, – workability as far as everybody working together Mm -hmm. to try to make things work. Find a solution, yeah. Right. As as you know, the government wants you to buy a house, right? We want to see people own. American dream. Right. Right. Home ownership. We want people to to own their houses, right? So one thing that you can guarantee is rent is 100% interest. Sure. Mm -hmm. So... Seven eight percent doesn't sound too bad. No, and you know it's funny. I talk. I have uh, you know. I say an older client, but uh, even my parents. Thirty one years old or something. <laughs> <laughs> God, forty. Yeah, uh. but my parents. You know, nineties. Um, you know, you were you were knocking on. If you were under ten percent, that was a great yeah. interest rate. Yeah. And here we are. You know, at five percent, six percent, four five six, whatever. Depending yeah. on our programs that we're running, you're still under. What yeah. we were 20, 30 years ago. Right. So it's, it's just a hard pill to swallow. When it just, is just you know six months yeah. or eight months ago, people were seeing you know high twos, low threes, yeah. and so then five months ago, yeah, yeah. And then six months fast forward, and now it's doubled in rate. It's like whoa, <laughs> okay, that's a that's a different buying yeah. you know, buying power I have now. Right. So that's where I think this the sticker shock is. Obviously, there will be an adjustment period. So let's let's talk about obviously. You know, this first half of this year, as we've just alluded to, yep. uh, you know, we're in a, a current interest rate environment that's been on the climb yeah. drastically. I mean, yeah. f- very fast, right? Mm-hmm. Um, do you see that stabilizing? I mean, in, in your side, and you were talking about, you know, you guys have these meetings. I'm sure this is all discussed. Mm-hmm. What are the indicators? What are you seeing? Where do you think it's going to – no one has a crystal ball. I understand that. But where do you think it's the second half of this year and into next year, uh, interest rates? Do you think they're going to continue to go up, stabilize, go down? I don't what, think what you're going to see, you know, jump to 10% or anything mm-hmm. like that. But okay. Yeah, I do think you'll see a steady climb over the next, you know, six months to Oh, so continue months. to go up a little bit more, Not right? a ton, but I- I'm hoping that we kind of finalize in the way of maybe 6.5% by the end of the year. And where year. are we at as we're filming this right now? Where are we at today? Uh, we the are mid-fives to mid-sixes, depending on programs. Okay. Um, so it just depends on what it is you're looking yeah. at, what programs you're looking at. If you're on a non-QM, you might be somewhere in the eights. It just depends on what program is going to fit you and best suit your situation yeah. right okay um but i think we'll see a little bit uptick but i think i'm hope i'm hoping to see housing prices start to level off a little more mm-hmm. and we are starting to see that plateau yeah. a little um but as but we know is still so low it wow. is but we are so the auburn market we're above a month's 
inventory now. Okay. Um, that's 1. Good. 0. 0.05. So I'll wow. take it. You know, that's a win, right? <laughs> Woo! Uh, Would you Ryan consider uh, cool California to be in the Auburn, <laughs> Auburn area, or is that a whole separate area? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of in its own genre, if you will, up there. I mean, you know, the divide. You're yeah. on the hill. The, divide. Um, the great divide. <laughs> uh, but no, I think we'll see kind of housing prices level off a little, as we are seeing yeah. um, across the nation. Um, as I'm, I'm licensed in five different states. So, oh, okay. What other states are you? I uh, do have Florida, Tennessee, Idaho, Nevada, and California. Nice. Um, Tennessee so and Idaho. Those are those are uh-huh. hot buttons. Well, they are. Uh-huh. They are. So yeah, we end up getting licensed our agency in those states as well yep. for that exact okay. reason. It's just the mass yeah. exodus from California yeah. seems to all be going those those Nevada. ways. Those no, ways. there yeah. are. I have a couple of realtor partners that you know they're seeing people coming into California. Coming back, yeah. right? So um, a lot in the Southern California area. Mm-hmm. The uh, grass was not greener is what they saw, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think you're seeing um, Southern California, we're seeing a lot of either military or corporate jobs, that kind of stuff, where they, they are getting an income where they can afford to live in those areas as prices are higher, right? right? Um, but I think, to your point, I think we will see things kind of level off as far as the housing prices go, which... That kind of forces, as, as interest rates come up, it's forcing people to slow down. It's taking people out of the market, really. It's mm-hmm. uh, Unfortunately, um, a lot of that is first-time homebuyers are getting priced out of the industry or out of the yeah. market. Yeah. Um, and I feel bad for them because that's who I like to help. And those are the people that you do get creative with and you do find certain ways to, hey, it might cost you an extra to get the extra money, but... If that's what you need to get you into a house right. and you can still afford and qualify for that loan, well, then let's do it, right? Let's yeah. let's make this work. But um, I'm hoping to see interest rates kind of stay. They're going to come up a little bit as they've talked about, you know, every meeting they want to raise rates. But mm-hmm. um, I think we'll see things kind of level off and in a recession, which we're we're probably coming into here Mm -hmm. uh, a mini recession, if you will. Um, Really the only housing crash that you see create or attached to a recession is, is the 2008, seven market. Yeah. Um, And you'll see either housing prices level off or even sometimes climb a little bit Mm -hmm. in a recession. So Mm -hmm. um, obviously that's going to be kind of something that we have to combat and which we are. And that's, that's why I love the company that I'm with and, we do kind of change things and re- redo programs to make yeah. things fit and yeah. find those specifics, you know, whether it be for nurse programs or first time home buyer programs right. or, you know, we just had uh, Cal Halfa just came out with um, with another program for uh, county workers. Nice. Um, so it's, it's a ter- forgivable 10 percent loan yeah. on a second. Yeah. So it's, Sign it's me up. huge. Right. right. Yeah. Well, uh, nice. So it's kind of yeah. cool, you know, so. Um, it is. It is pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's but, that's nice when you're seeing those kind of features come out right, and, and ways right. to try to help get people into home ownership because it's right. obviously exactly. the backbone of, of our country, really. Yeah, right. it is. And just a really important part of our culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I think we'll see more housing come on. Yeah. Um, new builds. We're seeing you know shortage in mm-hmm. products, mm-hmm. um, that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a tough market out there. It is very competitive. Sure. Um, and you know here we are in in May and. So you know. it'll be interesting to see the summer months. That's usually when the that's usually when it, when it heats up. Yeah. So it'll, it, here's Pun intended. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. Continue the trend, or if the rates are, are going to affect it. So yeah, it's, it'll be weird. Yeah, to see. yeah. it will. Um, I'm excited I'm very, for this I'm year. I'm very interested to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. I know uh, as we were talking, you're you're very natural on this, but uh, <laughs> you, you've taken social media as part of your business as well. So I yeah. know you record a lot of videos and. Yep. You want to share on any of kind of some of your strategies there or ways you're getting yeah. your message out? Yeah. So I think honestly, I think going, uh, going online is, is huge. If you're not yeah. doing social media posts, whether that be your face or at least being in front of somebody weekly, yeah. you know, it's like anything. If, if it's not in sight, it's kind of forgotten, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so I try to stay in front of my clientele. I try to stay in front of my friends and family. Um, and I know you guys do a great job of that. Um, we work hard at it. Yeah. And you do a good job. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that for me, I changing industries that something I was doing for 20 years, Mm -hmm. everybody knew me as Jason, the carpet guy, right? Like, who are you going to (laughs) call? Absolutely. So, um, you know, I still get phone calls. Hey Jason, how do I get a stain out? And it's like, well, um, (laughs) here, you know, call stain busters. Um, no, and some of them, all, you know, if I've got time, I will help them. But, sure. you know, um, I don't get to do that as much. But yeah. um, it's it's me transitioning and, and 
you know, letting people know what you're doing is my biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, my wife will say this. I never shut off. I don't. Um, I'm somebody that talks to everybody and, you know, I make friends at lunch. I make yeah. friends at dinner. I make friends out on the lake. I make friends, <laughs> you know, wherever we go. So brick wall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. Exactly. Brick walls. <laughs> um, so I've, I've got a lot of friends that will attest to that too. Sure. And some of them even hated going out with me if we'd go out at night or, you know, go to a bar or whatever. They're like, Jason, do you not know anybody? Like, is there anywhere we can go where you yeah. don't know somebody? No. Um, I mean, a, a great story is my cousin. She was in Paris, and here she is jumping on the plane, and somebody behind her went to high school with me, uh-huh. you know? <laughs> and uh, so she throws my name out there. Oh, you went to Del Oro. You know Jason Untoon? Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, you know, so That's it's great. just – it's kind of funny, but I have always been an outgoing person. Sure. Um, so – you know, sales are kind of my realm yeah. in that in that way, and I am somebody that has a lot of different interests, and I think that's kind of you can connect with people on many different levels, which is right, important, right. and uh, and help them help them get the job done. Mm-hmm. I will say because you guys do a great job with your videos, uh, and they're all well Thank thought you. out. Yeah. But I don't know what equipment you use, but you guys have like the clearest camera lens on your videos. I mean, it's, it's awesome. al- it almost yeah. hurts my eyes. Like it's yeah. too real for me. And it, it's like, yeah, the, yeah it's like, what's going on, on here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're real close. Yeah. So whatever equipment you guys are using, it's solid. Well yeah, done. they do a good job. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, that's Ellington Digital. They do a great job. Uh, okay, yeah, fantastic. They do, they do awesome. Um, Candice is is amazing at what she does, and, and she makes sure that we have what we need. Nice. and. And Brian, my boss, is always, you know, yeah. what do you guys need? How can I help you? Where can we grow? What what can I do to help you grow your business? So, again, that's – I love my company, obviously, if you can't yeah. tell. Um, <laughs> I love my thing. office, really. That's uh, awesome. So that's, I feel like that's, that's how Megan talks part. about Sky, too. It's just yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of similar as Junior. <laughs> you know, both love your company, you so it's hope. very exciting. No, right. <laughs> I, I, I do. do. Hope right. Job, right. So. I do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm joking. And as we find out, we have mutual friends, too, which is kind of cool. Small world. I know. Sacramento's smaller by the minute. See, here I am, right? Never met <laughs> exactly. you. Exactly. Oh, hey, you know so and so. You know, it's funny though. Same same thing happens to me. I go anywhere on vacation. And I'm like, oh, hey, I know that person. Oh, right? hey, look, that person lives yeah. around the corner from us. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason, and oh, yeah. God puts us in yeah. places where we're supposed to be. Yep. And at the right times, you know, God's timing is perfect timing. So yep. um, I think that's Agreed. something that's that's been good for me, and and my wife has has helped me to notice that a little more. So so. Nice. Um, I think I'm in the right place right yeah. now. Yeah, I, awesome. I I couldn't, I would not argue at all with that. And <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I'll say from someone that's watched you get into this career, and uh, you know, you've you've taken off at, at a great rate. So you've been doing really well, and I'm I'm excited to see where your career continues to go and see the impact you can make on the community and all the people. And uh, wish you the best, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate so, it. So uh, thank you for your time today. Yeah. And uh, I'll just me. I'll just close out by saying anyone that's uh, looking for just an awesome, awesome person, family man, someone that is very ethical uh, to help you explore home ownership, uh, give my man Jason here a call because he is he is the man. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, Jason, you could be reached at uh, online on your social media, but uh, yeah, a good um, phone number or email. Uh, email is Jason at pmrloans.com or you can. Text me, call me at 916-416-6658. But I'm always online, so. And you never turn off, like you said, right? You're always, always on. Always on, baby. <laughs> All right, we'll yeah. test that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you up like 2 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> one in the morning. Okay, yeah. maybe not that late. Well, thank you guys for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Yeah.